Blues, you know me and my subscription services. So we're trying out a new one. And this time it is the Yumi Twins box from the makers of the Tokyo Treat Boxes, which are Japanese subscription boxes for candy and snacks. This one is for kawaii items straight from Japan. So this one right here is their July box, which is their second box ever and I did want to wait until I at least saw what the first box was going to be like because I've been burned in the past but it looked adorable and a couple of you let me know what your boxes were like and you're like it's all legit check it out so yes all of these items in here are officially licensed merchandise straight from Japan or Japanese brands so I'm really excited to get this open and check it out but before I do that, because it is a new subscription service on my channel, I like to let you guys know a little bit about the boxes first. So this box is $23.99 a month plus $6 shipping and handling, so that just makes it under $30. You can get a little bit of a discount the more boxes you buy at once, so they do have a 3 month, a 6 month, and a 12 month subscription that you can purchase. They do ship worldwide, which is awesome because I know a lot of subscription services don't. So if you are interested in this box and you want to learn more, I will leave a link down below so you guys can check it out or subscribe. But now the wait is over, let's get this open. So let's get started with our first peek. And all we can really see is this booklet thing and I'm losing the box here but we do see a little guy right here I think it was one of our spoiler items but as I said we do have this little booklet and it actually opens I don't want to say backwards but the opposite direction that we're used to in the Western world so it opens up like a manga and it just has a whole bunch of cool art on it and inside it does show us what products are in this month, which you guys know I love when services do that. And it also talks about a photo contest and the big box that a lot of subscription services do. And then it gives you a little bit of information about different sort of Japanese lifestyle things like Harajuku fashion and kawaii cafes. So that's a really cool addition. This is a very nice little booklet. I will peruse through that later after checking out all of the items. So I'll start off with the items that they spoiled that I knew was going to be in this box. And the first one is this really cute poodle plush and it is super, super soft. It is like baby blanket soft. It's just, I can't stop petting it. But it also has some fur here that's a little bit different. It's less fluffy and plush, but it is still really soft. And it is just so super cute. I need to come up with better vocabulary because I'm gonna keep saying how cute everything is in these boxes. So the options for colors you could have got was black, white, or pink. So I got the black one which I really don't mind. Like, I don't know, I think black is probably the less kawaii out of all of the colors, but I still think he's pretty cute and I don't know, I think I really would have been happy with any of the colors. So in case you guys didn't know, the theme of this box was Sanrio. So Hello Kitty, My Melody, Kuropi, all of those cute little characters that they have. So next up is a Hello Kitty plush, but the little booklet does tell you that you could have gotten Hello Kitty or My Melody and it would have a unique Japanese name on it. So if you guys know Japanese and you can tell me what this says, please leave it down in the comments because I would love to know what my little character says, but I'm definitely happy that I got Hello Kitty. Not that I dislike My Melody in the least, but you can't get more iconic than Hello Kitty. So this is really cute. So next up, we got this little teeny backpack charm, which is just adorable. There were two different styles, so I got the more lighter, dreamier of the two, in my opinion, at least. But it is an actual working, like, pouch that you can put on your purse or your backpack or whatever and then fill things inside. So on the bottom here, it does have a little piece of Velcro but it doesn't have like a zipper closure or anything, so you will want to be careful what you put inside as it doesn't stay sealed, but it's a pretty decent size. 
So if you even wanted to put your little like Hello Kitty or My Melody character in there. But now it just makes me feel like I'm back in kindergarten where I'm carrying around my plushes in my backpack. I totally did that. I did not want to leave home without them. But I really do think this is a cute little charm thing that they added. So next up we have a Harajuku Princess Tiara that probably explains why the booklet talks a little bit about Harajuku fashion. I'm going to open this up and wear it for the rest of the video because I'm weird like that. Let's see. We're just going to put it off to the side like that. Perfect. I look like a princess, don't I guys? I mean... Obviously. And of course, you cannot have Harajuku fashion without more accessories, so they have also included this little beaded bracelet, and the one I got is in a pink and red theme, and I think there's some sort of design. I think they're roses or something. I'll try to get a close-up, but it's even hard for me to see in real life what they are. But it's just another little cute accessory that they've added. But we're not done with accessories and we're not done with Sanrio because the next item is some Sanrio socks. So I did get my Melody this time, which again I said I'm perfectly okay with. And these socks are really cute because when you hold them up this way, it does look like my Melody is wearing a dress and you have this really frilly like kind of ballerina bottom. But of course because they are our socks you would wear them this way and it just has that really frilly girly topping on them so these are really cute and you could have gotten Hello Kitty, My Melody, or Little Twin Stars. So this next item I'm kind of confused about and really intrigued with, but it is a My Melody memo pad, and it is not what you think it is. It is not like a regular paper memo pad. It looks to be made out of silicone or some sort of rubber material, and the only reason I say it's a memo pad is because that's what the booklet tells me it is. So I'm really interested in how you use this item because I, I fear like if I'm going to write on it, it's not going to erase. So we'll definitely have to check this out together. But here it is out of the packaging and it may look like I'm holding it backwards to you, but I think you're just supposed to have sort of that blank kind of slate so it's easier to read. And the My Melody wording here is going the correct way, but it is printed on the back and it has this little heart piece that pops out and I think this is supposed to act like your eraser. So we need to do some research right now and see if this actually works because I'm a little afraid of using a pen and it not coming off ever, but we'll find out. All right, so I'm just gonna warn you guys ahead of time that I have really bad handwriting. It's not cute at all, but we are going to test this out to see if I can write on this and am able to erase it. So it writes on there quite easily. It's a little bit weird of a feeling like you're writing in jello, but it's stiff enough that you should be able to write normally. But this is the real test here to see if I can erase it. Otherwise, I'm going to be really sad. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. This is really cool. So it erases perfectly. I am so amazed by this right now. But this is just such a cool item. I'm very happy with this and I never thought I would be like, yay, memo pad, but this is just so cool. The things that Japan thinks of or whoever came up with this, things people think of. But let's move on to the last item. And the last item that we received is a little My Melody or Hello Kitty pouch and I think I definitely got the better style out of this. I think the My Melody one is just really cute where the Hello Kitty one is a little bit more classic but either way I would have been happy with either pouch. So it is one of the drawstring pouches and it is a decent size. I can see you carrying around quite a few items here. I think I might actually use this when I travel because I can see a few like cosplay accessories or just other little pieces that would all just kind of normally be all over your suitcase. I could just put it all in this little bag and it's just so cute. So that was everything that I got in the July Sanrio themed Yumi Twins box and I'm really excited for this subscription service. So I definitely recommend this to you guys, especially if you like cute little items. Like I can't get over how cute this box is. It's just really super adorable. I definitely think everything fit the theme of this box and gives you a little taste of Japan 
which is something I'm always looking for with Japanese subscription services. So I think they did that beautifully. I am like over the moon. I'm just kind of like rambling on here. That's how excited I am over this box. Another thing that I did like about this box too is that they gave us a little bit of variety to keep things fresh because I do like seeing what other people get and I like watching other people's subscription box unboxings. So to be surprised all over again like oh which poodle plush did they get? Did they get My Melody or Hello Kitty? I think that's really cool and it's just enough variety that I don't think anyone's going to be too bummed out that they didn't get a particular item but now I'm just really excited for their August box which I've already got a notification that it's shipped and it's actually a free box for me because I won their giveaway so I was really excited to win a free box from them so there will be definitely another video and probably many more to come but what did you guys think of this subscription service? As always, let me know in the comments down below. And if you did an unboxing, go ahead and link it. Because as I said, I like watching your guys' videos too. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, Peekaboos!